I decided to become celibate. It was because I was searching for something more. Lorian reveals that he has been celibate and just like Lenny Kravitz, it seems like it's something that is going to start to become pretty common. I don't like know a trend? It, no, I don't even want to say it's a trend because they're doing it for their own spiritual healing. I think Lenny Kravitz said he's been celibate for like 10 years. Wow. Um, I don't Good know for how him. long. Good oh, for him. Yeah. I don't know how long Omarion has been celibate, but he said that he did it because he wanted to conserve his energy and he realized that he was able to be a lot more disciplined once he learned how to have, you know, sexual discipline and everything. Good for him. Um, so he says that, you know, he's able to really tap into so many different things that, like, he has been celibate and he is focusing more so on himself instead of just expanding that energy. I, I will love that. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's actually very phenomenal and I think it's a good thing that you know men are coming out and talking about them being celibate mm -hmm. and they you know it's a good thing because you, you usually know, hear it from women right yeah and they'll say oh women they're doing it the same got a man or da, 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 da. but to see you know to hear a man come out and say I have been celibate I think it's a beautiful thing yeah and I think it's very important because I feel like you know we've always said this on this channel that it's not only important for women to, you know, be celibate, it's also ex important for men to be mm -hmm. because you're expanding your energy, you're giving yourself to other people, you're creating soul ties and all this stuff with other people. Yeah. And I definitely feel like, you know, just like with R. Kelly, I mean, his biggest downfall was this 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 messed up sex addiction and yeah. i do feel like even with control even with the whole so. porn addiction that we have been seeing recently mm -hmm. even with rob and gino on 90 day fiance i feel like things are coming to light about this whole this sex thing that we make it so we normalize it so much mm -hmm. like it's normal to have sex like oh if you're a virgin you different you're partners like, yeah. yeah like if you're a virgin you're like some freak of nature or whatever mm -hmm. we're like oh that's going to end soon or whatever you know what i'm saying yeah so I do feel like it's important. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I feel Absolutely. like, you know, it's important for men to practice sexual discipline because, you know, in society where the media is teaching men that you have to be these overly sex creatures who can't control themselves right. and you don't know how to treat women because we are so visual and we have to have what we want to have. I and know, all like, so you want to control yourself, but then you want to be a man, though. But you have no self-control. Yeah. over like your own like you know private parts yeah in my case it's just it's everywhere you know i remember i think i was what last night I, I there was a phone there's a game on my phone where it's just like race cars where like you're trying to race other cars mm -hmm. and then this ad comes up of this guy um like this it's like a a, a little a stick figure or whatever mm -hmm. and it's called slap and run where it's this male figure that goes and he will slap a woman and then run away. Like that's basically the game. And it was an ad for that game on this car an racing ad, ad for the game. That's yes, it was an ad. Game. It was so crazy. You I'm know that like, was going on in New York. The men would just go slap a woman. So that was yeah. That, that was, was actually, actually in a real game. life. I didn't know that they had that as a they, game. They actually had it as a game. I'm wow. just like, man, what if I had a child? And my child, like, I mean, I don't believe my children should have phones until a certain age. I'm not going to reveal it. But I, I, I just thought, like, what if I had a child who was 10 and mm -hmm. he saw this vulgar game of how this man goes and he slaps a woman, like, on the behind and, and runs. Like, it's an ad for, like, an actual game. And to me, it was so, like, flabbergasting. Oh, he hits her on the behind. Yes, and then okay. runs away. So that was the game. What was, was going on in New York? They were slapping a woman in the face. Oh. And running. Yeah. But you're basically teaching a child to be a sexual predator through a video game. Exactly. And I was just thinking, if this is an ad for a simple car racing game, I can only imagine what they're putting on, like, on the Fortnites or the other shows or the yeah. really popular PS5 games. Mm -hmm. This is a little small ad I had on my, this was a little yeah. small game I had on my phone just to kill time when I'm yeah. not yeah. doing anything. And I was just really shocked by that. So I feel like... It's in the games, it's in the TV, it's in the media, it's all these things like we we basically groom mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. and groom adults how to be 
right. like from a very young age and then we continue to per perpetuate that like through the media and the TV and all this stuff. That's yeah. why it's so important to, as JT said, get off the internet, go be somebody, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I will forever love that Indeed. audio. Indeed. You know? Spend some time meditating. Be in nature, go touch yeah. some grass. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, okay, well not this. Not that like grass. that type of grass, but the grass that God made. Yes, he did make that also. I'm also talking about grass that the cows eat, okay? So it's all these things, you know? So I am happy to see that more yeah. men are coming out and being like, look, I'm practicing celibacy. So see, this is yeah. what I'm doing. And I hopefully it'll catch on. Yeah, because you know, I am seeing this whole this I'm seeing this whole thing like it seems like people are reverting back to old times, you know, yeah. which we're gonna talk about in another video. But I yes. did want to shout out Lenny Kravis and Omarian for coming out and speaking about it because especially in this society Absolutely. where they're always shaming men and also shaming women for mm -hmm. not being these sexual beings, <laughs> I'm yeah. happy that they're coming out and being like, Look, I'm celibate and I'm normal and exactly. I'm and I'm fine. Exactly. It actually is a benefit to me. Right. So, yeah, y'all. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let us know what you guys think about this down below. I know. And is this a culture that you want to keep on going? Yeah. <clears throat>